stop eating, at least the way you do now. After hearing about this numerous health benefits of fasting, you may just consider it, from weight loss to improve cognitive function, to better sex drive, and increasing testosterone. Let's go over different types of testing, and find out which ones are good for your sexual health, and which ones will just harm you. Let's start by clarifying that, the primary goal, and benefit of fasting is the improvement of metabolism, and weight loss. When you fast, your body enters the state of ketosis, burning fat for fuel instead of glucose. This metabolic switch can help you shed extra weight and body fat. This among, many other great health benefits can indirectly positively impact the sex life. Being overweight or obese can lead to hormonal balance, such as low testosterone in men, and high estrogen in women, which can negatively impact your libido. As you probably already know, there are many types of fasting. In this video, I will be discussing the two most common types of fasting, and their impact on sexual health, total fasting, and intermittent fasting. Total fasting is a complete refusal of food for 24 to 36 hours. When your body goes without food for an extended period of time, it can experience changes in hormonal levels and metabolism. As I already mentioned, during fasting, the body may shift to the state of ketosis, where it burns stored fat for energy, instead of carbohydrates. Even though, this helps you to lose weight, it can also cause a decrease in insulin, and an increase in fat-free fatty acid production, which can lead to a negative impact on hormonal levels and sexual function. In particular, low insulin levels and high levels of free fatty acids have been shown to lead to a decrease in the production of testosterone in men. Some men who engage in total fasting often experience a decrease in libido, difficulty achieving and maintaining erection, and an increase in fatigue and weakness. These symptoms can also lead to anxiety and depression, which can further impact sexual function and overall wellness. Another problem is that fasting, when you do not consume any food or liquid, that can also lead to dehydration, which can cause a decrease in blood volume and therefore decrease blood flow to the penis. This as you understand can make it more difficult to achieve and maintain the erection. Therefore, I do not recommend this type of fasting if your goal is to improve sexual function and increase your testosterone level. But, you can get the opposite result, if you turn to the method called intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is one of the most popular types of fasting, and according to research, and many styles is the most beneficial type of fasting, if you're interested in sexual wellness. Usually, intermittent fasting has two numbers, the first number indicates how many hours you are fasting, and the second number indicates how many hours you are allowed to eat. So, normally these recommendations will be based on the current state of your health. The health factors, such as blood sugar level, the health of your liver, gold bladder, and pancreas, as well as the health of your stomach and gastrointestinal tract. For some people, eating only once a day may be very beneficial. For others, having such long breaks between meals may be very unhealthy, and cause significant health issues. I personally prefer a 16 to 8 ratio, when you fast for 16 hours, and then you have 8 hours to consume all less nutrients, such as proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. You can eat 8 hours in the morning, for example, between 8 and 4, or in the afternoon, for example, between 12 and 8. I personally prefer to eat the first 5 of the day, this way I have a chance to utilize all the calories that I'm consuming during those hours. It makes sense to eat during the hours that you're most active, or quite honestly, whatever works with your schedule. Of course, you still have to watch what you eat and minimize the consumption of foods that just simply not good for you and not healthy, sugars, processed food, simple carbohydrates, and unhealthy forms of fats. Here are just a few benefits of this form of fasting. Reduction of bad cholesterol. Reduction of insulin resistance, which is super important. Reduction of systemic inflammation around the body and gastrointestinal tract. Weight loss. Improvement of cell repair. Increasing the production of growth hormone levels, which of course helps you to recover much faster, gives you more strength, improves your metabolism, and of course increases testosterone production. Another important factor to consider when practicing any form of fasting is nutrition. Men who are fasting should ensure they are consuming enough nutrients to support their sexual health. This includes foods that reach in zinc, like oysters, 
beef, and pumpkin seeds, which can help to boost testosterone levels and improve sperm quality. Additionally, consuming foods that are high in antioxidants, such as berries and leafy greens can help you to protect against oxidative stress and support overall sexual health. It is important to consult a doctor or nutritionist before starting fasting, it's important because fasting can have a very different effect on different people. For example, people with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, heart disease, or low blood pressure may not be able to safely fast at all. The doctor can help you assess your health risks and determine if fasting is a good option for you. Additionally, a doctor or nutritionist can provide guidance on how to break the fast safely to avoid unnecessary side effects, such as dizziness, nausea, or dehydration. They can also recommend the best type of foods to eat during the fast to ensure that you're getting all the necessary nutrients and vitamins and support your overall health and well-being. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.